so here you can see we have different type of frames that we have uh, designed but you can design of your own here on my first left we have uh, uh, the button like frame and in the middle we have uh, the circle frame with the text and on my right we have uh, circle image and this is most over used in our major ui application that is named as circle image in our dotnet maui project so let's get started with the basic dotnet maui project and try to redesign all of these frames this is our brand new dotnet maui project here you can see uh, we have our main page which has some scroll view i'll just remove everything whenever uh, uh, our application loads at first then uh, we'll just remove everything we don't want any of the code uh, over here because we'll be writing press new uh, frame uh, control code in our brand new dotnet maui project so at first here you can see our app.xaml.cs has our app cell starting as our startup page so here you can see and uh, our uh, application is telling that and the app cell is going to be loaded whenever our application starts and this cell is going to encapsulate our main page here you can see in our cell content and we have local as a main page that means it is going to encapsulate our main page whenever our application loads that means now main page is going to be loaded whenever our application starts let's run the application on our android emulator and uh, you need to look at to the uh, tutorial how to load our android emulator first from our tutorial number one so let's wait for some time till our application loads I'm just going to fast forward this video so that uh, I can demonstrate you the whole process of uh, creating the frames and uh, creating the circle images inside the frame too. Here now we are going to give title for our UI. So the title will be something like uh, uh, let's type it as uh, frame tutorial that's all so the title will be displayed on our mobile you can where you can see like that and here we need to add a frame tag here you can see the frame tag is going to be added to the whole part of the screen so we'll just uh, uh, need to give the background color of the frame so that it is uh, going to be visible so here you can see i'm just giving the frame as blue so that it will fill the whole entire screen of the ui so here we'll just give the vertical option as center and uh, horizontal option as center too so that uh, uh, it will encapsulate its size that is our specified size with the padding so here if i uh, uh, like uh, play around with the fill property and you can just play around with all the properties as you like here you can see i have given the height of the uh, frame and then and here uh, let's give the margin of the frame to uh, anything as you like so here from left top right and bottom uh, we have to give the margin of for the frame so i'm just going to put the frame uh, margin to 20 here you can see from left top and right and bottom the margin has uh, gone uh, from uh, all the every side so it has other properties too and you can play around with the margin property as you like and here on the corner radius i have given 20 as the corner radius we can just uh, play around with the corner radius to anything as we like so here uh, you can see i have given 45 corner radius so it will just uh, uh, fill up the round shape and here we have to understand that if the height is 90 then it should be divided by 2 uh, to get the uh, curve radius and that's all now here uh, we have uh, successfully created the frames now it's time to add the level text in middle of the frame so that it looks like uh, somewhat like buttons so here I'm just going to give uh, uh, text as welcome to dot Nate Maui and here you can see i have got a label text and uh, we are now going to put that uh, label to the center of the screen so here you can see uh, i'm just going to give the text color to white and then uh, vertical option and horizontal option as centered also but uh, here let's keep the font size uh, to near about 18 and that's all now let's put some 
horizontal text alignment to center and the uh, vertical text alignment to over here and then it will just uh, be in the center part of the US screen and that's all we have our uh, pretty looking button uh, with the level text just as like a login button and then uh, we are good to go uh, with this uh, uh, UI as of now now our next objective is to add some external properties just like uh, you can just add the frame with the border color to red so that it is uh, visible so here i'll just put some red color as a border color and that's all now for we are good to go and the main thing that you have to understand is, is clip to bound equals two is going to help you a lot whenever you are going to uh, put some images inside the frame that is in the center of the frame so that is really important when you and you'll just see the effect whenever i'm just going to implement that so here i'm just going to make some type of circle frame that is our next part that is our circle frame with the the some text and here you can see i've just put the frame to um, both center and um, center vertical as well as horizontal now i'm just putting the height of 170 for the height 150 for the height and 75 no uh, that is we have to um, divide by two that is our uh, height as uh, 150 that means i have to put the corner radius to 75 because of the text uh, it has now bulged out so uh, what we have to do is we'll just remove the uh, level text so that it will be in the center of the screen and now if we have given height then we have to put the width to also 150 so that uh, the circle nice little circle frame is going to be visible with some border color so that is uh, uh, really looking attractive now and uh, what our next objective is going to be we are going to put some uh, images in the circle center of the frame so in order to do that we'll just remove this label text let's create uh, the image control so we have already discussed about the image control which is now going to be placed inside the frame so here i'll just give the image source to anything as you like so here you can see uh, i have just uh, given the bot .net port .svg, which is inside the images uh, in the shared folder and then aspect fit and then height too and uh, uh, i can just give the y3 quiz to so it depends upon you and how you play around with the images that is uh, to be centered in the frame so vertical option center and expand and the horizontal option to as center and expand because we just want to put that image in the center of the screen so uh that is it uh so here i have just missed uh, this vertical option as center and expand so that's all now we have uh, successfully put the image to the center of the uh, frame that is really important whenever we are uh, designing some good uh, ui interface so uh, you can just play around with other values too that is aspect as center and anything as you like so just to, uh, i request you to uh, play play around with uh, those values and then come up with the uh, best ui designs as you like so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our uh, next tutorials